Good day, good day! How the fuck are ya? This is your friend Dan O, and this is Roverland, the YouTube channel that's anything and everything Land Rover. Have I got a video for you today? All right, all right, all right. Welcome to a one of Wednesday. Yes, and make sure you give me a big one uh, thumbs up. Yes, make sure you like that uh, video. Uh, if you're not subscribed, subscribe. I think it's over here. I don't know. And definitely come on to uh, the Facebook page of Roverland. I always point, point over there that it's over there. But thank you for joining me today. Um, oh, hey, here, I better show you the box. Uh, we're going to be talking about um, the box that uh, Joseph Lowe sent me. And he is from uh, Hillsville, VA, uh, Virginia. And uh, a couple of weeks ago or a week ago, I mean, the things just pile up and uh, get out of control. He sent me this bugger right here. Yes, what an awesome display piece. So we're going to be talking about um, this one as well as the other ones that I have. So um, I really get a kick out of these plastic uh, and, and friction cars, they call them. I, I believe they, that, that's the term for them is friction toys. And uh, so let's just take a look at what I do have, all right? So what this is not is uh, this one here, which I always uh, have fun sell, uh, saying the name. Telasada, tel, Telsalda, Telsalda. I think I, I nailed it, guys. I think I nailed it, Telsalda. And this is made in Hong Kong. I'm not really sure what the NFIC stands for, but a little arrow there. That's pretty cool. Registered trademark, I'm assuming it. That's registered name there. And just a, a really unique model. Now, this... I would say is the traditional or the more out there, um, what you would say, uh, the more popular of these. And maybe, in my opinion, this might be the original piece. And why, and I'll get into why I think it's the original and what I mean by that. It does have a removable top, that's kind of cool. Uh, and that I actually have. Uh, these other models do have removable tops, but I just don't have them. I'm not sure. I think that these yellow uh, marker lights on the back are original. I'm, I'm not totally sure. They're on the front as well, like little gem headlights there. The grill is chrome and has an insert wheel on the hood. It has an interior. It's a right hooker there. Very cool, molded green plastic. It's got a metal toe hook to it. And this one, I've seen pictures uh, with a horse trailer on it, a horse box trailer. So very kind of cool. Now this one, interestingly enough, I think I'm missing a part up front. You can see there's a little damage here. So I think uh, the bumper might, there was a front bumper and it had played into this little tab here that kind of goes into the friction motor. And, and oddly enough, or wonderfully enough, mine still works. They had chrome, looks like chrome, like head, head uh, hubcaps, I should say, excuse me. And I think these tires are a vinyl or a rubber, but they're really kind of hard. And well, at this age, they're kind of brittle. Now, I don't remember really how old these are, but they're, they're from the 60s, at least. And so that is not what I have. <laughs> but I think that that is the original. So... As um, it is known, 
that some of these Hong Kong co uh, companies and the struggle against the Western world, the Hong Kong companies uh, band together and uh, sell stuff. So this is another one that I had bought. I believe the the Telus Tel Salda and and this one here I bought off of eBay. Yes, I I pretty I did not find these in person. I bought these off of eBay, and the this one here is in a little bit rougher shape. I did able to find that uh, it it would have come with a tilt on it molded green plastic again and this one the, the wheel has come off that's because they have glued they use glue to uh, attach the hub to the tire and these are kind of uh, I don't know if I can really show you that they're you know they're flexible they're rubber so plastic and rubber or vinyl is not going to stick to each other and there are subtle differences. You can see that this one has got lug nuts and stuff like that. This is more of a hubcap look to it. But it's the same basic 109 Series 1 Land Rover. Now this one's got the different headlights. It's chrome, chrome, let's get in focus, chrome headlights there that they just attached to it with the grill. The bumper on this one is uh, a separate piece. As you can see, it's been riveted into the bodywork, but it's a different kind of style. You know, there's there's no holes missing in this one, and uh, no tow hook in the back, just kind of plain Jane there. Uh, but now this one, interestingly enough, has Land Rover, which would be stamped. Um, you know, kind of, it looks like it should say Land Rover. There's the L and the A, and then the plastic kind of bows, so when they go to stamp it, the L, A, and then the R in Rover is the only thing that shows up there. So this is a Safari number Deuce Ought Deuce Deuce. Yes, made in Hong Kong again. So this is a sister company. And this is Z Company, Z-E-E, -E, the Z Company. And so this is different, but it's the same. It's friction driven. Now this one doesn't work. Uh, this one, and, and two, the wheels have, like I said, they've come off. So I, don't, I really don't know if it works all that well. And uh, well, I'm, I'm able to get it a turn here. Yeah, I guess it does work. But uh, attaches a little bit different from the first one that we looked at, but same basic design that they stole <laughs> from each other. So it, it's not a, and this one is missing its interior. Now I don't know, it doesn't really look like they unscrewed this because you would see in the uh, cavity or the, 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 the column that that screw goes into, see how it's raised up there? It doesn't have any scratch marks like you would unscrew it. You would see like swirl marks where that screw had been backed out and, uh, you know, put back in there. And you, you don't see any evidence of that kind of stuff there, you know. It's kind of, it's kind of the CSI here, man. Yeah. So there you go. So, and obviously I believe that would have been a tire that was uh, kind of just fixated on there. So that is the other one that I I purchased um, a while ago. But now let's get into the one Joseph sent me. Once again, a little bit different kind of tires. It kind of goes along with the last one we looked at. It has the it does retain the hood uh, tire, and this one does have the interior in it with being a right-hand drive. Similar um, fixation of the headlights, the, the way the headlights are fixed to the body and the front uh, eggs on the grill, the grill, and the bumper is kind of the same. And the basic, you know, 109 pickup cab feature, no uh, rear tail, uh, rear tow bar, and no added uh, paint paint or anything like that. 
So all is good until you get to the bottom and you flip it off. Now it's interesting to see that they still had a problem stamping that Land Rover on there. But in the molded part, because this is all raised, it's not a stamp on there. It says Land Rover number four, tree four, four tree four, made in Hong Kong. Yes, but this has on the axles, Roxy Toys with the prancing horse. Yes, so let's get this other one back up here and kind of see. Now those bases are identical. They are identical other than uh, the Safari on the left and the Land Rover on the right and their number. So that plate there is different. And then they also do a different plate, the same size, same circle, but instead of the Z, they put the Roxy Toys. But it is the same basic thing. I mean, it's just crazy. But it's uh, it's a variation. It's uh, from a oh, cheese balls. It's from a different company. So it, it's really kind of neat. Uh, you know, people complain and and uh, say that Japan and and even then they're Hong Kong. You know, we're swiping patents left and right. Well, you know what? They did it to their own peoples too, or their own companies or sister companies or whatever so nothing new there so let's talk about this made in hong kong roxy toys uh made plastic roxy toys made plastic model vehicles in various scales in hong kong from 1960s to the 1980s more towards this is kind of like more towards the 60s uh i also saw a red one with a light tan tilt and greenish wheels and a red wheel on the on the hood with the tan interior uh, I also saw a red one with these chrome wheels as well and then I saw a green uh, this green one here with a uh, more of a tan darker tan the other one was a lighter tan the red has a lighter tan and this has more of a darker tan and this this is just great this that's great. Don't mistake that. That's not what we're looking at. I, I suppose I could see if those tilts would fit on each other, and and they don't. Yeah, it's it. This one is a little bit bigger, so you can kind of see it. What's supposed to these uh, wavy canvas parts are the same size as the bed, so they're supposed to go over. The, the bed, that's where the tie downs are. That's a, so it goes right over. So, wow, that, yeah, they may have shrunk it down a little bit. All right, well, there you go. That's just a little look at this one on Wednesday, rambling on. Thank you for joining me today. You guys have been great. This is your friend Dana reminding you, slow traffic keep and have a great rubber day. And thanks, Joe.